Hi there, this is Valentine and welcome to another Postman tutorial. Today I wanted to show you very quickly how you can upload a file in JSON using form data, but also how to send some JSON with that file that you're uploading. So let's jump straight into it. I'm using here a post request and I'm using this testing service httpbin.org slash post as an endpoint. I'm here inside the body and now instead of none, that is default, I'm going to select form data. I'm discussing in other tutorials very in depth about uploading files and I will link you one of these tutorials in the notification bar. But essentially you have to know the key under which the API or the service is expecting your file. I'm going to just name it here file name because this is just something random, but you need to check the documentation to see what's expected. You will see here if I hover over the field, this is for a lot of people not so intuitive. If I hover over this field, this text thing will show up. And if I click on it, I can select file. So just a second to see it. If I'm not hovering over it, it's not showing up. If I'm hovering over it, I can finally select a file. When I started learning about Postman, I really needed a lot of time to find this functionality. It's really, really hidden. Now you have the possibility of selecting the file that you want to upload. So as you can see, now I have selected this file latin.txt. This is what I'm trying to upload. And a form data request allows you to also add some additional information. So you can add files here, but you can also add, for example, I would say here, simply data. And you can specify this data here and you can add just some text. But you can also specify the content type for this particular field that you're sending. And again, this is a bit hidden in Postman. And you'll have to go here on these three dots that you will see here near bulk edit. And if you click on them, you should see content type. By default, this is hidden. So you will essentially never know about this. But if you now click here on content type, it will show this additional column here, content type. You will see all the fields are set to auto. But you can select application JSON if you want to send JSON or just in case you want to send something else. And you'll have the possibility of writing here some JSON. Just make sure it's valid. So name, some name. And you will be able to send here JSON. As I've demonstrated in our tutorials, you can replace this with a Postman variable and use a request script to automatically generate JSON. So if whatever you're writing here is getting too long, don't worry about that. There's a way around this. So let me go ahead and simply submit this request. And you will see here that the file name has been detected. And this is essentially the content of the file, what we have sent. And there's also the data that we have sent with this form. So everything that we have submitted, the file itself and the data, the JSON data is now available for the API to use. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you're facing any issues with this, please let me know in the comment section below. I will be more than happy to help if I can and point you in the right direction. Subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this and see you next time. Bye bye.